This is Brad Sanders. This is your market update for December of 2019. Uh, we had a fantastic end of the year. Um, the S&P 500 was up 3% for the month of December, and global stocks were actually up 3.5%. Uh, bond market was okay, uh, domestically down 0.1%, and globally uh, up a little bit, up about 0.6%. Uh, that puts the S&P 500 up 31.5% for the year. That's the best year since 2013. Uh, global stocks up 26%. And then domestically, even the bond market was up 8.7% uh, here and 6.7% globally. So just a tremendous year for equities and risk assets of all types. Um, what we saw in the end of December was kind of a spike in technology names, particularly Fang, which we've mentioned before, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google. Uh, those really led the market. And then we strangely had a spike in energy stocks. Um, energy had been outperforming for the, under, excuse me, underperforming for the last two years. Uh, it's underowned by the managers we use and in our portfolios, uh, which has really benefited us. Uh, it hasn't been a, it was the worst performing sector for the year, even though it was one of the best for the month of December. Uh, so, you know, on a relative basis, performance can be mixed just because we don't want to, we didn't own those energy stocks for the last two years. And then they happen to, to have had a good, good end of the year there. Um, as we move into 2020, uh, there's a lot of geopolitical noise. We're going to have an election, which we've talked about extensively. And now we have tensions with Iran um, and, and just a, a myriad of other things. You know, the China issue is still not resolved. Um, the market doesn't seem to care about any of that right now, uh, which is a good thing in the short term. Uh, but we are keeping an eye on everything. Uh, one thing we have you know, observed is the market appears to be overbought in the short term. What that means is the market's just kind of gone straight up and has not had any backing and filling along the way. And what you can see when that happens is you can go through a period where the market gets uh, rather sluggish or even backs up a little bit. It just means that things have kind of gone too far too fast in, in the very short term. So we wouldn't be surprised if January kind of starts out uh, kind of ho-hum and kind of loses some of the momentum from the end of the year. But overall, uh, the tenor of the market seems good. Uh, you know, um, sentiment is, is very good as we enter 2020, but we are keeping risk management in place and keeping our eye on a lot of the, those myriad of geopolitical issues uh, that we'll write about in our newsletters going forward.